And I am recording this because um, I just want to get my content down here. So hello, everyone. Welcome to Mindfully Fit Tip Monday. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. We're going to get started. And I'm going to be talking about getting functionally fit and what that all means. So um, before um, I get into it, I just wanted to say happy new year, happy 2024. The end of my um, 2023 was kind of uh, stressful only with the fact that I got sick, but um, still sucks, but whatever. I'm just going to um, presence that and put that out there and also say thank you so much for the well wishes that you all messaged me and commented on the posts I did in this group um, and elsewhere. So thank you so much. And we're going to get going. Also, um, I wanted to just give a shout out to um, those who attended my Slay December and the Year Strong group, um, accountability group. Congratulations. Um, even towards the end there, when I wasn't really <laughs> present, you guys still kept going. So thank you so much. It's really awesome. And it makes me happy. So, okay. So I don't know if you all saw my email last week. I sent out an email. And if you're not on my email list, please let me know um, if you'd like to be put on my email list. I have been upping up the frequency of the emails and I usually would only do once a month and I am going to start to do weekly every two weeks um, of some content for you all. So that's just one of the new things that I'm implementing this year is I'm going to try to get better about just sending information, useful information um, that will help you in your self-care routine, in your fitness, in your nutrition mindset, which is really what this group is all about. And just having a place to um, get that community, that support, that you're not alone, especially when things get tough, right? So I want you to remember to use this group for that. Um, Everybody in this group, I've never had any weird, I have never had negativity in this group, spammy things happen in this group. Okay, if you see stuff like that happening, please let me know. But I generally see who joins the group. I do have control of who joins the group um, to an extent. But like I said, um, um, well, I don't know if you guys heard this before, but I popped on, but Facebook has changed some guidelines some settings that have been a little bit crazy and I just have to relearn all that. So just wanted to share a bit about that. And I'm going to share more later about some other offerings. So the reason I wanted to um, just talk about getting functionally fit, um, especially when it's like the new year. We, and I know a lot of people aren't all like this, but I think we still kind of share the same mindset of, you know, the holidays came, we let loose, we ate this, we ate that, whatever, right? And we start to beat ourselves up about that, okay? Um, I'm just going to presence that because that is something that um, I definitely can relate to. I was sort of doing it to myself <laughs> um, over vacation. And I'm like, why am I doing this to myself over vacation? I shouldn't do this. Over, you know, I should be having fun. I should be relaxing. I should be um, enjoying myself I'm better. And I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, I got over COVID and I'm better and I can spend time with my family and my dad and my stepmom. You know, I was trying to sort of refocus my my mindset that way, but I know it's hard. And now that it's, if you live in a colder climate, it gets harder because it's still dark, it's cold. Um, we have to really, really dig deep, right? And find our tools and 
are places to go to lift ourselves up, right? So getting functionally fit, I find is just for me, a better goal to focus on. And here's why I don't care how old you are. Okay. I don't care if you're in your twenties. Um, I don't really have many people that age in this group, but anyway, I'm just going to put that out there that it doesn't matter if you're in your twenties and your thirties, your forties, of course, getting staying functionally fit is definitely super important as we get older. And I'm sure you know that that's a lot of, I've been focusing a lot on that these days. And a lot of it is just, it's me too. I am actually, um, my little new friend came in just now and she's exploring. Um, I have been noticing just in my own body, how it's changing. I'm going to be 46 this year. And I even noticed just entering into my forties, I've noticed some changes and I, and the reason being so is let's face it. I've been focusing on body work movement for the like over 20 years now. It's crazy. And I'm very in tune with my body and I just feel the things. Okay. Let me know in the comments if you feel the things. Okay. Maybe you give me an emoji with the, with the hand or just a thumbs up, like, or you can comment like, oh yeah, I'm feeling the things. <laughs> Feeling like I shoveled yesterday and man, am I feeling it, right? That was probably like my first real workout after being sick. So what did I do to take care of myself? I'll just give you one quick tip. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna, for commenting. <laughs> um, I stretch, man, I stretch. I have this whole stretch routine and Holly, I know you're on the Zoom right now with me and we have a session later. So yeah, they're gonna be, getting some of that for sure. But um, I stretched, I took the time to stretch out because I was feeling my back, I was feeling it. And I was like, I need to do something. And I have five minutes. I have five minutes to stretch. Okay. And shoveling is just like, so there's just so many different positions and movements. And then we get into a zone and we just want to get it done. But if you live in a colder climate and it requires you to shovel, snow blow, whatever, I mean, I say keep shoveling, right? That is just one thing you can do because it's functional, right? It's, it's a functional thing where it's like we have to shovel, we have to move material out of the way. And I don't say like stop shoveling and just, you know, just, um, just stay with like a snow blower. I mean, snow blowers are great. And we have one of those rolly things that just shoots the snow out of the way, which is great. But, you know, shoveling is going to keep you fit, functionally fit. Does this make sense? Please let me know in the comments on Facebook. And, you know, if you're on Zoom, you can also type in the chat. It's totally fine. Oh, I forgot to say this. If you are watching the replay, please type hashtag replay in those comments there. So, you know, what is functional fitness? What is functional? I'm going to say functional, you know, mobility. I'm going to use that term right now because those go very hand in hand. It's a person's physical ability to move independently and safely in a variety of environments to perform functional tasks, including the activities of daily living at home, work, and in the community. That is just a definition I got off the internet, <laughs> or actually, I think I got it from my, yes, no, I got it from the, in, I looked up various different definitions here. It was also through my course that I'm taking as well, but that is the gist of it. And examples of this, right? I said shoveling, I'm going to put shoveling on one of these examples, but standing, just standing. Last the couple of weeks ago, we talked. I talked about posture, right? Walking, stair climbing, going up and down stairs, reaching, right? Reaching for things, right? Wherever they might be. Bending, twisting, and of course, squatting, right? We squat probably 
first thing in the morning or in the middle of the night, depending on who you are, to go to the bathroom, right? You have to squat down, you have to come back up, that's a squat, you're squatting. So those are just some examples of the function, functional mobility, being functional fit, being able to do those things comfortably, right? Pain-free, I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, we might feel little twinges, we might feel stiffness, right? Stiffness is something that's natural, right? Especially if you've been sitting for a long time or standing and you get up to go do the thing and yeah, there's gonna be some stiffness going on, but it should subside, it should, especially if you are active. Hope this makes sense. So what are other some other tasks? I'm just going to kind of go more into this functional mobility. Um, examples are, you know, along with the stair climbing and the walking, it's carrying laundry, a laundry basket throughout your home, <clears throat> you know, up and down the stairs, right? If you're my laundry stuff or my laundry um, room is in the basement. So I have to go downstairs. I have to go upstairs carrying the basket, thinking of it that way. Um, Getting laundry out of a washing machine and dryer. I don't know about you, but I sometimes feel things, right? When I'm bending down, I got to make sure that I am bending at my hips. I'm bending my knees too, because it depends on how low it is. If you have something that's up high, that's good, right? You don't have to do a lot of that bending unless you're picking up the basket, right? So thinking of it that way, but if you have to bend down, make sure you hinge and bend your knees, engage your core, right? You're reaching for items overhead into cabinets or on shelves, right? Really keeping a solid core, but also being able to reach, having that flexibility, having that mobility for that. Moving light furniture, right? I don't really like to move couch. Well, I will shift couches, right in a room, but just moving light furniture. And I'm just thinking tables, chairs, you know, little tables, chairs, things like that. Um, turning your head and shoulders while driving in a car or fetching something in another seat. I'm just going to let you know, I, I've tweaked my neck in the past or, you know, because when Gina was a baby and she'd be crying, you know, in her car seat and I would like reach back and I would try to like be like, it's okay. You know, I'd try to console her. I did something to my shoulder, to my neck, because I wasn't really thinking about how I was moving. Um, and then getting in and out of the shower or the tub. Yeah. Hello, honey. Yes. So there it is. Those are just some things, some examples, just to think about like, Getting functionally fit so you can do these things forever, for as long as you can. As we get older, yeah, we might have to make some modifications. Oh, honey, I don't think you want to go on that. I'm just going to go on my stability ball. Yeah, that's not going to end well. Um, but it's just good for our biological body, right? The biological factors, the psych psychosocial factors. Um, as well of just living comfortably and without pain. I mean, who doesn't want to live without pain? We're going to have some things go on. We can't control everything. Um, that's not what I'm getting at. I'm just getting at what are some things I can start to do now that are going to help me because it's winter right now. You can still do stuff to help you. So when it gets nice out, right? When it starts to get nice out, you're going to be all good to go because you did those things. you kept up with those things over the winter months. Yeah. And then come spring, summer, when you have to clean up the yard, right? There you go. Right. And this is huge, right? So I just wanted to go over just quick little biological factors of functional mobility. And that's that it preserves motor function brain structure and cognitive function, preserve or slow down, it preserves or it slows down cognitive decline and 
just, and get, it engages all those activities of daily living tasks, right? And then just the psychosocial factors are independence. Number one, like you want your independence. I want my independence until I get to be a hundred. Quality of life, self-esteem, confidence, so big, so big. Fall resilience, right? And social engagement, right? Engaging with other people in a community setting, whether that's sports, group exercise, what have you, the fall resilience, meaning sometimes falls happen, but how do we bounce back after a bad fall? I know I just like ran my mouth just then, but let me know in the comments if you have any, all right. Just checking my Zoom here. Totally, totally. Yeah. So, on that note, we want to keep stretching. So, make sure that you stretch even after you do shoveling. You know, maybe you do did a lot of stuff around the house right? And you're tired. I know we just want to plop on the couch. What did you do? Think of the activities that you did. What parts of your body did you use? What can you do to nurture that part of your body, right? So like with shoveling, hip flexors, stretch your hip flexors out, do some cat cows, right? Move the neck around, do rotations, right? Do your rotational movements, you know, and just side stretching out the sides of the body, things like that. It really doesn't take that long if you know the stretches. And of course, if you don't, you can always consult with me. I have in-person classes here in Albany, and I also have a whole library of online classes. And most of them are like mobility, flexibility, um, <clears throat> classes. So, and there's, and they're for everybody. There's standing, there's floor. I know some people who's like, ah, I just don't want to get on the floor right now. I got standing stuff in there. So keeping yourself mobile, keeping yourself strong is going to help you, um, throughout your day, throughout your life. And, I don't really like to talk about weight loss too much. I know that some of us need to, some of us are working on weight loss for various reasons, but I always find when I focus on the quality of life aspect, like ugh, I just want a good, I want to be pain-free when I move. I want to, you know, then I get bonuses, right? The weight loss starts to become a bonus. When we focus just a little bit more about moving more, I'm just going to move more. I'm going to stretch more. I'm going to drink more, more water, right? I'm going to eat more non-processed foods, right? Like, because usually when you do that, you do feel have more energy. Then other fun things happen along the way. Does that make sense? <laughs> so. All right, I'm going to wrap this up, but I wanted to share that. And please, if you're watching the replay, put your questions, put your comments in there. I always go back and um, read them is that this Jan January, we're still in January, I am still offering for new subscribers um, to my on-demand library, 10% off. And that promo code is FUN10. And that is capital letters, FUN10. I don't like changing my promo codes around because then I forget them and then I give the wrong promo codes out. But if you click the link in the cover photo of this group, um, if you look in the description, I have my website up there and I think I have the link to the direct on demand library. You can click that link and you can check out what's there. Um, and yeah, so for January, I'm offering your first month 10% off. And then after that, it goes up to, it's $71 a month. I um, put new content out every week. And that's the other thing I'm doing is I'm really going to focus more on supplying or supplying, putting more, <laughs> putting more um, content up into the library. Um, and they're going to be short things because I know we're always like 
time is a factor. I got to get things in, whether it's a stretch, whether it's a bar, whether it's core or something else, I'm going to um, add more content to that. So you are going to get some really good stuff there for um, your self-care routine and staying functionally mobile <laughs> and fun staying functionally fit. And also the other thing is on January 19th um, at 10.30, yes, do I have it? Yes, 10.30. Um, I am doing another in-person class, powering up your strength, building confidence in your prime. I did this in November. So um, this is going to help you. Oh, it's just, it's, it's a really good little, it's only an hour and it's under um, 90 minutes. And um, again, this all goes back into being functionally mobile, getting functionally fit. I know, honey, um, I'm almost done. I know, I am almost done. Here, I wanna say hi. This is Mallory. Say hi, Mallory. She's like, what the heck is this bright light? Isn't she just beautiful? She's very sweet and lovable. So anyway, building um, this, one day event, Friday, January 19th, 10.30 a.m. You're going to feel taller and more comfortable in your body. This is what you're going to get out of it. You're going to improve your range of motion and reduce stiffness in the joints. You're going to gain more freedom and movement to reduce injuries when performing strength exercises or other physical activities. And you're going to boost your confidence, feel inspired to try new things. Okay. So... That is pretty much it. Yes, so that is gonna be January 19th at 10.30. You can also get that link on my website, okay? I got a dash. Um, I know I've gone longer with this um, Mindful Fit Tip Monday, but I had a lot to share because I was, you know, a lot happened in the last two weeks and um, yeah, so. That's it. So thank you so much for joining me. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. I can stop. <laughs>